everybody, welcome back. I've been posting some little sneak peeks about this journal on Instagram and I finally have completed it. This has taken me longer than I thought because of, um, you know, our work schedule and, and things that have been going on here, but I'm really happy with how this has come out. Um, this is a accordion style traveler's notebook. Uh, if you've never seen uh, this style journal before, I actually have a playlist on how to create one of these. I did one a couple of years ago, and I just haven't had the chance to, to create it again. I love this style journal, and I think you'll really enjoy making one of these as well. This journal measures four and a quarter by eight and a half inches. It's got three signatures and the journal kit that I've used on this is the Wildflower Wishes Kit by Angela Kerr on Etsy. I'll put a link to Angela's shop in the description box below. Uh, she's got some beautiful kits. I'm really drawn to this one and I intend to um, to make another one of these as soon as I can. <laughs> So the closure on this, I've just used some sorry silk. That way as the journal expands, um, you've got room to, um, to just add more things to this. It's pretty chunky as you can see already. Um, it's already about a four inch journal, but this can expand quite a lot more. Um, because that's the nature of the accordion journal. I just want to show you what's involved on the front here. Um, this journal, I the base of this is envelopes, the business style envelopes. And then um, I've done some layering of Angela's papers with fabrics, laces. I've added this little um, stamped strip of muslin and then an old button and various bits of antique um, lace to the cover and then I've added a couple of the little butterflies as well there's some cheesecloth I mean just a lot of layering but I want you to see that I'm really really love how this came out uh, I did a lot of planning on this journal um, straighten this up a bit so you can hopefully see. I want to make sure I'm staying in frame and then I'll just uh, bring it up so that you can see anything that I want to show you close up. So the first thing you do is um, on this first signature I made a couple of little flaps um, or sorry little tabs here so this will flip open and this flips open. Uh, a couple of other little things I had from my stash that I've added to the kit, but I would say 95% of this comes from the Wildflower uh, Wishes kit. It's just a few little uh, sentiments that I had in my stash um, that I've added, and then these tabs. So this flips over, and inside here I've actually added just a little... Um, double tag like a little notebook that I've tucked inside this pocket and then on this one I just added a vintage flash card. I did not alter it. I thought the recipient might enjoy that. I've done some stenciling and a lot of sewing in this journal. This is the back of the cover and I've left that um, blank you could add a photo or you could create a pocket in that if you wanted to, but it was getting pretty, pretty full. Um, this kit is a full size journal. I should make note of that. And I've adapted it down to a TN size. Um, and in doing that, um, I backed it with a coffee and tea dyed papers. So just some old um, music sheet paper. Here I've created a pocket with the coffee dyed paper. 
and then I added one of the journaling cards. I love this journaling card. And then this, I just did a tutorial on this if you're interested. Uh, taking one of Angela's digitals and I've just created this little flip book and I've put some of the elements from the kit in here as well so that flips over. Here's another tag from the kit. So you've got these pockets, a little flap, and then I've just added a little tag here and then you've got another pocket here and if you close this whoops, and then flip it over there's another pocket on the back as well that holds another of the journal cards so this kit I've um, kind of mixed um, that's the string from that tag. I probably should shorten that. I've kind of mixed white with the coffee dye. So if you don't like that look, that might not. This might not be the journal for you. <laughs> I I like to mix them. Um, I think this kit lends itself to the coffee dyed and white. Personally, here I created a little double pocket and you'll see the other side and this is another one of the little journaling cards from the kit and I just made a little flap there to hold it shut more stenciling this is just some craft paper and then <coughs> this is one of the images that I've just torn down and added did some stamping here um, trying to think one I'm trying to think how many I'll have to um, I, I'm I've forgotten how many pages there are in this but it will be in the description um, stamped another little image there this is just a little snippet I made using some of the scraps and then here's another one of the little journal cards and this flips over so there's another tuck spot here and then this is a little gusseted envelope so that you can add some items to as well. And then that tuck spot there. And then back over to this. This is the other side of that little envelope that I made. And it's got another little journal card. I love the images. The colors in this kit are really pretty. It's, I, I think I've mentioned it before. You've got the golds and the corals and greens. Uh, and then some blush pink as well. It's really, really pretty colors. More stenciling. And then a couple more journal cards here. And then this is another little element that I shared. Um, here's a little altered paper clip that I made. And this just opens up so that you've got some writing space. And I've tucked in a couple of more of the journal cards from the kit. Here's a pocket. And then here's another pocket. And I've just altered that little tag. You don't need to do much to the tags because they are so pretty. Uh, the, the the way that she's uh, designed them, you don't need to do a lot, but I thought that was a really fun little project to do in the evening. So here I've just added um, some more paper to extend that, and that's created another writing space. And so this is just being held <coughs> with this paper clip. And then this is 
the back cover of the first signature. Another beautiful postcard from the kit. And another journal card. So this is a double pocket on this. And so now this flips over and you're into your second signature. Again, another little tag tucked here. And I just made this little journal card with some papers that coordinate. Now this is from a different kit, but it was still the same color, so I thought it, it matched nice with that. And then on this page, I've made a little pocket for another of the tags that comes in the kit, and this flips over. And here, I've just done some collaging, so you've got quite a bit of writing space. There's not a lot of pages to this, um, but I didn't over embellish so that there's still a lot of room for journaling. And then this, I've just taken one of the, um, <clears throat> I believe this is a 6x9 mailer, and I've just altered it and created another pocket here. And then this is another little tag that I backed that with some coffee dyed paper as well, and that tucks in there. And then on the back, I've got another little, this is a stenciled um, little tag, and I've added another bit from the kit. It's a very big kit. She gives you a lot of elements on this. I th Actually, thinking about it, I think Jen, uh, Angela has a couple of kits. She does the papers, and then I believe there's an add-on that has the embellishments, so you'll have to check that out. But I do think there's a couple of kits within hers um, that you you need to purchase to have everything. Uh, but you will use them. They're beautiful. This is a little window um, element that I created with the packaging, and then one of the you get some of these circles, so I thought that was really pretty. And then on this side, I just kind of framed it out with this um, journal card that I punched out for something else and added that. <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. I added some of this um, graph paper and um, just left it white. I, I like the contrast. I like the browns you know, the, of the craft paper. I just think it's really nice for journaling to have some different papers. And then this one... I just tied this, and this is just another little uh, private area that you could journal in. And this is more of the, uh, the papers from the kit. They are so pretty. But I, I sometimes like to have little places that you can write um, and keep it kind of a, like a secret writing space. Okay, and so over here on this one, this is one of the pockets that you get. I just did some collaging on that. And then, again, look at how beautiful those journal cards are. So I've added that. I just altered one of the craft sticks that you can pick up at um, any kind of little discount store. And I just created that little... I just think they're kind of fun to add to the journal. This is another of the journal cards... And then this is just some something from my stash that I thought matched nice, so I tucked that in there as well. <clears throat> this is the center signature of this uh, center center of the second signature. Yeah, say that fast three times. <laughs> and some more of the craft writing paper. Here is a large pocket. I haven't added anything into that. Um, And then here, I've taken some packaging and just altered this um, and put that little, this is two, actually two of the journal cards and then I cut it out to frame that. I just thought that was really pretty in there. And then I made a little window on this pocket so that this would show through. <clears throat> this is just some 
scraps that I had left over and I just created another little altered uh, paper clip so that will clip to the top of the paper. I don't know why I'm having such trouble. So that clips over and then on this side you could actually use that as a tuck spot. Uh, I don't know if I pointed out this is just some of the wildflower paper. I thought it went with the journal. So I've added that in. And then this is the other side of that um, mailer. You can add some memorabilia inside of that. Just did some, like a little page adornment along the edge there with different pieces and some, some string that I've got from my stash. <clears throat> and on this page I've got a parchment pocket that I created. I just did some collaging there. And then this is one of the journal cards, I mean a journal tags, <clears throat> and I added a couple of things from my stash that I thought went nicely with that. And then this flips over so you can see you've got a lot of writing space here. This is the second signature, and on the back I've left this one blank. If you did want to add something, I'm going to show you. I've included some other elements with this journal so that you can add some things in various places yourself. So this is the back of the journal, and now you're going into the third signature. And here I've just taken an envelope, and I've... Um, add some tissue paper to that from an old sewing pattern to create a pocket there and then this is another little journal card that I use. I made using some of the papers and then various things from my stash. That tucks in here. And then this flips over and then here I've got two little pockets that I've made Actually, there's three pockets. I didn't I didn't realize I had this one back here. So you've got a pocket there, a, t a tuck spot here, and then another little tuck spot here. And then this is a window envelope that I've altered, and I added one of the images from the kit. And then on the back here, I've just made a little altered mini file folder so you can do some some writing here, and I've, I've just put some rub on, old vintage um, hymnal sheet, and then some of the images from the kit. And that's been tucked in there, and this is another journal card. Done some sewing on a couple of the pages, um, still working with my sewing machine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I really do need to sit down one day and, and actually watch the tutorial. I just haven't had time. Um, added some lace to this. This is a um, just a magazine page that I had, and I thought it was nice with the wildflowers. I thought this was really pretty because um, this is a meadow from a Colorado, a picture of Colorado with the wildflowers, and I thought that coordinated really nice. So I've added that in there. And this is just a little little tuck spot here that you can add something. This is um, just another little collaged page adornment is what I call these. And then I've made a belly band here with various um, bits of scrap from the paper and trims, old vintage buttons. And then I've just tucked one of her journal cards here. <clears throat> this was an old um, book I picked up, and I just love the paper. It's like a parchment type paper, and I think it's really pretty. And this was on um, applique. 
couple more of the journal cards. Um, some more of the stitching that I'm working on with my machine. This one came out really nice. So on this page, uh, this is another of the pockets that you can get from the kit. Um, in here I've added a little glassine bag so that it's full of some leftovers that I had from the kit. There's about four pockets, some tags, journaling cards. I've tucked those in there so that you can um, add those where you want to. I didn't want to completely embellish this um, because it would have ended up so bulky and I think it's nice to have some extras that coordinate so when you're journaling you can add various things yourself. Another little flip out page that you can write on. And then this is another large pocket that I've made. And then this is the back of the third signature. And in here I've just added a journal card. I've made another belly band layering various papers. And then in here I've added some more pockets and tags and then this has just been the, the whole uh, glassine bag has been altered on this so it could actually be glued down in another part of the journal if you wanted to do that I've done that before and that it looks really pretty or you could make it into a flip out so there it is this is the wildflower wishes journal using Angela's beautiful kit and as I said, I'll put a link to the Angela's shop in the description box below, and you guys can check it out. But I love the colors. I think it's um, it was a lot of fun to work with this kit. Um, I will share in the listing how many signature, I mean, how many pages there are in this, because I just can't <laughs> remember off the top of my head. So, um, whoops, sorry about that. So I will have to look that up, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll close that up in a minute. But there it is. If you're interested in this, it's going to be for sale in my shop. So um, the list listing to, or the link to my shop is in the description box below as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope that it's inspired you to maybe try one of these accordion style journals. I'm going to put a link to that tutorial. Um, in the description box below as well and there's always within the description box I've got a list of all of my playlists so um, if you're you want to go back and you know look at some of the projects I've done in the past you can always check those out so you guys take care I'll see you soon bye bye